Do people still do unboxing videos on YouTube? Do people still watch unboxing videos on YouTube? I mean, excuse me. I guess you guys are watching this one, so there's an answer to that question. So you're gonna wanna stick around to the end so you can see just how beautiful what the final product is gonna be of all these different items. So excited. Aloha, top of the morning friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? First things first, hit that like button real quick just for the aloha on top of the morning. I don't think I've asked you guys to hit the like button in literally years, so do me a favor and hit it this time. Let's see if it's a higher number than usual. I'm fairly certain that I'm not lying when I say that this is going to be the largest unboxing we've ever done on this channel. I bought snakes that were single-handedly more expensive than all this stuff but it's definitely the most stuff we've ever unboxed in one video. I'm super excited about it. Let's get this stuff open and see what we got. Real quick, before we start actually unboxing, I, I just wanted to give a couple of announcements. Announcement number one, if you live anywhere near Colorado or Denver, April 27th and April 28th is going to be the first All-American Reptile and Plant Expo put on by my buddies Troy Schroeder and Nick Sloan, their first Reptile Expo they've ever put on, and I'm gonna be there. So I hope to see you guys there in Colorado. I haven't been to Denver since I was like 20. Yeah, so it'll be really cool, um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you guys for having me out. Let's let's start going here. Let's we'll save the. I'm just gonna clear up the table. We'll do one thing at a time. How about that? Should we go smallest to biggest or biggest to smallest? Smallest to biggest, you say? That's what I was thinking too. I like opening things. This is actually like one of the more exciting unboxings I'm doing. I'm actually kind of bummed that it might be one of the more expensive ones because if you watched last week's video. Uh, I destroyed that camera and I'd ordered all this stuff before I destroyed that camera lens. So that was not an expense I was anticipating when I ordered all this stuff. I was just thinking, gosh. So these things are, are obvious. Now if you are into video or if you're into doing stuff like that, then I think that this, this video you're going to really enjoy this unboxing. Uh, even if you're not, I think you'll still like it. Some Arca Swiss plates. Simple, elegant beautiful Arca Swiss plates. Um, funny thing is, I think that I, I don't even need these <laughs> anymore. This little tiny sucker right here is just a uh, nothing, 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 tra la la. Movie reference, comment down below if you know. That little tiny thing is just simply a hot shoe cover for my camera, I lost it a while back. Boring, moving on, let's open these next two things at the exact same time. Shall we? Yeah. Oh, packed well. What are these fun little ditties right here? Hmm? What could those be? Really fun once we get other stuff out in, into the open. I love throwing boxes around. Oh, I totally didn't open the very smallest thing first. Those are tiny. Little, little doodads with some doodads to doodad them. All right, these two things are roughly the same size and they're actually, I think, the same exact thing. So, We'll just look at them both. I didn't know which one I was gonna go with. You see, one of them is easier to, has this little like quick release thing, whereas the other one does not, but I, I still wanna try them both out. I, I ordered the first one, and then I was like, oh look, there's one that might be a little better for even less money, so I thought, why not try that out? This one, I'm just gonna go with which one feels better, I think, and then I'll just return whichever one doesn't keep these boxes. Are you guys having fun yet? That, my friends. Oh, snap. <laughs> that is a cage. Whee! So you're gonna wanna stick around to the end so you can see just how beautiful what the final product is gonna be of all these different items. So excited. This is what my headphones look like right now. These are my Sennheiser HD 280 Pros. And I don't think that anybody's going to want to uh, put these on their ears, any of my guests. So I've got some updated ones, some fresh ones, so that I can replace these with some nice new, fresh covered niceness. So I'll put that stuff together later. All right, we've got three more things. This is a monitor. When I'm filming stuff, like even when I'm filming right now, like with this top-down shot, I 
I can't tell just by looking at it. Like that little screen that's way up there, it's like two and a half inches or whatever. So I, I can see it kind of, but so many times I'm out there filming a show. Ooh, it comes in a nice box, that's awesome. So many times I'm out there filming at a show or just filming anywhere, and I'm looking at that little tiny monitor on the back of my camera, and I just, box is this? There are more latches. Though it doesn't look huge and ginormous, it is actually, it's at least twice the size of that little flip screen. So my hope is that with this thing, I'm just looking forward to being able to actually see what I'm filming while I'm filming it. So many times I've been filming, I get the footage into my computer and I can't tell if it's in focus until it's there in the computer. And I'm looking at it just like, ah, oh, I wish I could have seen that while I was filming it. Oh, you can put a battery in there, but I'm assuming I can power it just with uh, my camera. No battery though, so I'm assuming you don't need a battery. Two more boxes. This is only my second ever Sony lens. And I moved to Sony a while back from Canon because, so even though I'm filming this on two Canons right now, I moved away from Canon and moved to Sony because Sony is more geared towards video. So it's, it's a bummer that I've gone through so many switches. When I was first doing still photography, I did some Nikon and stuff, and I switched to Canon. The problem is you invest in the glass, and then if you make a switch, it's like painful. But it's also worth it in my opinion. I mean, I think that this is a, this is a pretty decent feeling lens. It's okay, it's not, it's not a G Master, so it's not as crazy expensive as some of the lenses I could have gotten. I, I just, I'm glad I didn't either drop on, on a G Master lens because of that lens that I'm having repaired right now. It just would have set me back way too much, so. This is the last thing, but remember, we're going to build all this stuff and so you can see just what a beautiful, beautiful thing it is once we're done. And it's gonna be, whoa, this came with way more stuff than I was expecting, oh my gosh. Rapid travel charger? A I had no idea it was gonna come with all this stuff, or maybe I did. <laughs> Even a memory card, wow. Sony camera body, A7C. So when I'm doing those interviews at Tinley, I can do the multi-camera shots like I used to always do with the Canons, and I can easily, I can easily just like color grade everything and it'll look really nice. And I got the one with the silver top because my other one has a black top and now I can easily tell the difference between the, my B-roll camera and not because one has a silver top and one has a regular black top. All right, let's put this thing together and see just how beautiful this rig is gonna be. It's pretty sweet. The one bummer is that this monitor did not come with a battery, so I've got to keep it plugged into an outlet to have it on, which is not a huge deal for now. I'll have to get the batteries for it. And and then uh, it's a bummer that they don't let you know that it doesn't come with batteries. That's like, I guess they assume if you do stuff like this, then you know that it needs a battery, but I don't know that. So what I think I'd like to do is take this thing and I've got a bunch of rodents over there and I'd like to let the kids come down and feed them. I'll get this mess cleaned up and then we'll get some cool shots with the new rig of the kids feeding snakes. Sound cool?
Well, that's going to do it for us here today, folks. Y'all take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next video. Aloha.